Welcome back guys, it's Courtney. And today, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a huge TJ Maxx haul. And I actually said TJ Maxx because that's more like mainstream. It's actually winners. I don't have a TJ Maxx where I live. I don't know if we have TJ Maxx in Canada. I think we might just have like winners, Marshalls, and HomeSense, but they're all the same thing. Um, so I got some amazing deals on some makeup, and I also have some other miscellaneous things. So um, let's just get into it. So the first thing I have is this Estee Edit Radiance Activator Treat Prep and Glow. And this was on clearance for $16. And it's pretty nice if I do say so myself. Um, it gives your skin a nice little glow to it. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> but you can see that there's a little bit of shine to my hand now. Yeah. Alright. And the next thing, I found this uh, last weekend, and I was so pumped. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfection Powder Feather Light Finish, and this is regularly $50 plus dollars, um, Canadian. I think it's almost 60 or something like that. Outrageous. And I got it for $24.99. And it came in this little bag. That's how you know it's expensive. And then with a the little sponge. But I probably won't use that with this. But what it is, is just this powder. Ooh. And just a white powder, which I think you're going to have to be careful with. I think I'm going to have to be careful with. And I looked on Sephora, and you can still get it um, there. I just don't know why this was at Winners. Usually when this stuff's there, it's like the place that it goes to die almost. So, I don't know. But um, I read some comments from people who are very fair, like me. And they said that there was no flashback, and it wasn't too much of a white cast. So... Yeah. So the next product I'm going to talk about is one that I use every day and it is this little guy. So it's the Nip and Fab Skin Glycolic Fix Serum and I use it morning and night. I put it on before I use my milk watermelon serum thing. Um, and this is, I, I know that this is like going to go into the graveyard. So I saw two of them and I thought I love this so much and it's made a difference with my skin um, and they were only $6.99 each. So I mean you can't complain. Next we also have another Estee Edit product and this is the bronzer, the Bears bronzer and it was $16 like on clearance and this is in the shade 02 medium deep which I should have looked at because I'm very fair <laughs> so this and this is kind of has a red undertone um, as you can see there but I can make it work you can just mix it with another bronzer and be fine but I just saw it and I was like oh and I described it and I didn't think twice so from glam glow this Power Rangers Goldar Gra Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. So, this was only $19.99. And Glam Glow was super expensive. So, when I saw this, I was kind of excited. Because I never actually tried um, a full sample from them. Or full size anything. I've only bought the little mini masks. And they're still 20 bucks Canadian, and it's terrible. So, um, but I was super happy to see this. And they also had the green one in stock. So, next up, I have the Real Techniques uh, Brush Cleansing Gel. And this was only about $6, I believe. Um, I don't have the packaging anymore because I 
have used it. But to see this there, I was pretty happy because this can be kind of pricey. Real Techniques is obviously cheaper in the States, but it's like really hyped up here. Um, so I, I like their brushes and everything, but sometimes it's not always worth it for me to get them, even though like they are technically like drugstore, um, but they're at the higher end drugstore. Next, I have the Pure Pop Pop Ointment, and this saves your skin as it soothes and smooths with uh, papaya in it. And I know Just Conti loves the Pop Pop Ointment, so when I saw it, I was like, oh, then I, I would love to try that. And it was only $4.99, and it says comparable to 10 so half off, which isn't bad. And you get 25 grams, so it's pretty good, and it's made in Australia, so. Next up, I have another bronzer, and it's from actually a cosmetic brand that I never heard of before. It's called Saint Cosmetics, and this is the bronzer in Heaven Scent. It was only $10, comparable to 18 but winners often will get the price, the comparable price is wrong. So I feel like this was probably more expensive, but that's what it looks like. I have swatched it. And to be honest, I feel like it might go on better with the brush than it does with like just swatching it. So I just have to kind of play with it and see, but it's really nice packaging. I really like it. And then I, so I also got this Sigma brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. And this was $14.99. And Sigma brushes are also super expensive, no matter where you live, really. Even in the States, they're still expensive. But they're really good quality. So this is like a really firm brush. I don't know exactly what to use it for. So leave a comment and tell me what I could use this for. I think it would be good for maybe bronzing, but it's, it's kind of hard. So I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Anyway, it's really nice. I was happy I got that. And I also got this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in the shade Catnip for $9.99. And it's such a pretty color. So we'll focus, here we go. It's a very pretty color and I usually don't wear colors like these but I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone. I usually stick to nudes, but I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. So another brush I found was actually from Real Techniques and this is Tiny Brush. And this was amazing for just under your eyes. Um, so I really like this, it was $4.99. Can't pass that up, amazing brush. It's so soft. It's great. And I also found this Me Matte Adore um, palette by The Balm. I've been wanting to try The Balm products for a while. And that's what the palette looks like. And each um, name starts with Matte. So it's like Matte Russo, Matte Bernard, Matte Williams, Matte Lee. Anyway, I really, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. I also have several nail polishes. So I'll do it by brand. <laughs> so I have two from the same brand, the rest are just one and one and one. So the first two were both six ninety nine from um, Butter London. So that's one shade. And this is ooh. This is the other one. So this one is called Mum's the Word, and then this one's called Teddy Girl. So I'm excited to use those. And the next nail polish is from Nails Inc. And this is called Mayfair Lane, and I think it's really pretty. It is paler in comparison to the Butter London one, which is more of a, which is more pink. So. And then next I have an OPI one, which was about $5. Cause 
because they're usually about 10 here. Um, and it's called Worth a Pretty Penne. And it's just this gorgeous, like, glittery, coppery, rose gold color. And finally, we have this Ciate um, nail polish in Pepperminty. And I bought this, so I usually don't um, go for colors like this, but this reminded me of my sister's prom dress and her nail polish that she wore there. And I was like, oh, and it was only like $4.99. No, it was $3.99 I was like, wow, that's like really priced down for a Ciate. So, grabbed it. I also have this Marc Jacobs um, Twinkle Daisy Perfume. So, I know this, you can't get this anymore. This actually was like to go to the eye. Um, but I saw it and I've always wanted to try Marc Jacobs Perfume, but I've never wanted to like give out like over a hundred dollars to buy one or even the rollers the rollers aren't worth it um for the money you have to spend so I got this and I like this little rubbery flowers and there's another kit that I saw there the other day when I was there and it was sixty dollars but I couldn't buy it because I was going to do an appointment and I couldn't show up with a big bag full of stuff. So, but on that day, I feel like this is my best find. This is Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Pilot. Yes, yes, ma'am, or boy. So, this was $24.99, and this is. I don't even know. I'll have to insert the price somewhere. Canadian. I was so happy. So happy. I was like, oh my God. I had a lot of stuff in my cart at first. And I was like, I can't carry all this. So I had to put, I had to only get this. Because if I walked in with my, to my counselor with a bunch of bags like this, she'd be like, what's wrong? What happened? And I didn't really want that. I love this. All right, so we're done with all the makeup. We're gonna move on to more of the miscellaneous things. So well, this one technically is for makeup. So this is just a lipstick holder. And this was $12.99, I believe. And I could never find just one of these. And um, there would always be like only like four or six little spots for lipsticks and then like the other compartments and I didn't like that so but I got this and I really like it and I also got these containers which I am using to like just obviously store some of my makeup so in this one I have like blushes mainly um, blush duos with a highlight from ColourPop um, and then I have like two primers and two setting powders. But yeah, mainly blushes in here. So I have two of them and this is the other one. This one's full of highlights, so. And I have more than this. I have a lot more where this came from. I bought a cup. This was, oh, by the way, these were $7 each on clearance. <laughs> um, then I bought a cup. And it's just like a plastic cup, but it's really nice. It looks like it would be um, glass. It was $3.99. And the reason I bought this cup was because I have like this joke with my best friend. And whenever I go over, there's like, she doesn't have a lot of cups. So like there's none that are like clean. And I'm like, I'm going to start bringing my own one. Because I don't like drinking like out of a mug. I'm like, I'm going to start bringing my own cup. I'm going to buy one, buy one keep it here and I'm gonna mark my name on the on the bottom which I have yet to do I'm just gonna put a big K on it <laughs> so um, that's why I bought this a little background story so next I bought two port little portfolios and they have caps on them there's a the pink one and then there's a the white one they're exactly the same so it has some different caps on it and that tells you like the name of them so I love cats. 
so this is perfect for me. But I bought these and I already have stuff in them. Um, and they're holding up pretty good. I think I might go back and see if they have more. Not necessarily the cat ones, but I'm going back to university in the fall, so I'm going to need some stuff. And if I can get it for sale or on clearance, all the better. And then next I have been kind of changing up my room a bit. And I got this duvet cover. I just have to order the du like the actual duvet. Um, I'm ordering it off of Ikea. But it has little cats all over it. How cute is that? I mean, really. I'm obsessed. And then lastly, I have this sheet set. And it's by Delilah and Cleo. And I got a lunch polka dot because it went with the orange little cats. And then I could buy, like, there's a black polka dot one, too, that I think I might get. Um, oh, and by the way, this is um, from Dream Setter. That is everything that I bought from Winners. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to and leave a comment if you want to request any videos or anything. So, thanks. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.